Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you how to soft mod an original Xbox. For this tutorial you'll need a original splinter cell and a action replay. Alright, once you have the action replay installed on your computer, you need to go over here to the far right one, go to community saves, and the very top one should say Linux installer. Find SID Installer 5, put it over here in the middle one, and then copy it over to your memory card after you plug that into your computer. And then you need to go back over here to the far right. You need to scroll down and find the Splinter Cell uh, Linux profile. And then do the same thing, put it on the memory card. I know you can't see that very well because of the uh, camera on the computer. So, I'll just show you it on my Xbox. Okay, now once you have the files on your memory card, you put them in your controller. You put the memory card in your controller, and go to memory. You can see I got SID Installer 5 right there. And I got the Splinter Cell Linux profile. I've already copied these over to my Xbox to save time. As you can see, it's already there. So now I'm just going to load up Splinter Cell. Just skip past this. Go to start game. Go to just press A and then hit checkpoints. First thing you gotta do is go to backup slash restore features. Gotta create a EEPROM backup. Now hit back to main menu. Now I go back there, go to create MS backup, hit yes. Now you hit OK. Just press B to go back, and then go to install single boot soft mod. You can do you can do dual boot bot soft mod, but doesn't really make a difference unless the single boot doesn't work. Then you do dual. It's standard. You can do Evolution X or Unleashed X. Doesn't really matter. I prefer Unleashed X, but if you're wanting to do a whole bunch of like Halo 2 mods and stuff like that, it's better to do Evolution X. Alright, now just hit yes, 
and it should shut down. And then you gotta turn it back on. To finish the installation. Oops, I left the disc in. And there you have it, your soft modded Xbox dashboard. whole bunch of more crap you can do. Go to the original Microsoft dashboard right there, File Explorer, put emulators and ROMs on here, burn games, do a whole bunch of new stuff. But I'll let you figure all that out on your own. But thanks for watching guys.